So we're just going to go into a little bit of detail about leather. So um, there's loads of different types of leathers and it can be quite overwhelming right at the beginning to choose which type of leather you want to use for your work. The two categories of leather that I would say they really in general fall into is chrome dyed leathers and veg tan leathers and I'm just going to show you a little bit of info about that now. When you're buying leather at a leather merchant, what they do is they sell it by the square foot. So you can't necessarily just go into a leather merchant and say, you know, could I have two square foot of leather? They actually have to sell you the whole skin. So it's sold by the square foot, but it is dependent on the size of the animal as to how many square foot there would be in that skin. So for example, if you wanted to get a cow skin, then they can be huge skins. So this is an example of one that I bought quite recently. Um, I think they vary between about 45 and 50 square foot. So you can get a lot of handbags out of that. But it might be for you when you're first starting out that a whole skin of leather is actually either too expensive for you to buy or actually you're just not quite sure whether you want to get into leather work so you just want to have a bit of a trial so what i would recommend doing is rather than getting a cow skin perhaps you could get something like um, a lamb skin or a pig skin now those obviously are smaller animals so that there's less square footage in that skin so this is an example of one We've got this one here, which is a sheepskin. Now, this would be absolutely perfect for the Arthur leather clutch because it's about six square foot and that would be ample for doing the clutch, but you couldn't necessarily make one of the bigger bags out of this. You'd have to get a couple of these skins in order to get a bigger bag.